Uh, I'm standing here at the Royal International Air Tattoo in front of the Scorpion Jet, which is a commercially funded and commercially drive ISR Strike tactical airplane. Textron Incorporated decided that we needed to bring an affordable, multi-mission, relevant aircraft to the defense market, uh, both for the United States Department of Defense and the international market. Not everyone can afford to purchase and or operate our fifth, fourth and fifth generation fighters, and this offers a unique capability of affordability, versatility, and capability for a less than $20 million acquisition cost and then less than $3,000 a flight hour. And if you want to compare the flight cost to an F-16 or F-18, generally speaking in U.S. terms, they're about $18,000 a flight hour. So your pilots can get six flight hours to one uh, for the same cost. And uh, the, uh, unknown, the unknown factor is the decreasing budgets which are causing our fly pilots to fly less and less and less. So they're losing combat capability and they're losing their motivation to stay in the armed forces. So this offers a relevant capability that will keep our pilots current and they'll be able to fly more because of the cost effective, very cost effective, very affordable operating costs. Specific capabilities, as you can see behind me, it has three hard points on each side. It can carry multiple weapons from precision guided munitions, forward firing munitions, or plain, plain, pretty simple dumb bombs. Uh, it has a unique feature, 82 cubic feet payload bay that's plumbed with electricity and cooling for today's sophisticated information surveillance and reconnaissance packages. Uh, in fact, we will uh, we'll fly our first uh, combat mission, our first mission in a, uh, a NORTHCOM, Northern Command exercise when we return to the United States where we will offboarding real-time surveillance and intelligence data to a ground control station and a ground, uh, ground control command center. Uh, what, what we did is uh, Scott Donnelly, the CEO of Textron, decided to uh, form a joint venture with Airland, a small group of aviation enthusiasts and, and uh, investors. And uh, the goal was to design a relevant ISR strike aircraft for the DOD market and the international market. This is a rapid development and a rapid prototype. And again, the flight test program, we're moving along very rapidly. We've already achieved our, uh, exceeded our advertised top end speed of 450 KTS. We've achieved 455 KTS. And uh, we have a lot of throttle, a lot of power left over. Uh, we made a decision early this year to fly a trans transatlantic flight just seven months after first flight. So a pretty aggressive uh, uh, test schedule. Uh, we took a northern route and uh, uh, stopped for gas every thousand miles or so and uh, got it all the way over here to the Royal International Air Tattoo. And we're gonna fly over to the Farnborough International Air Show. And uh, we're really happy to be here and demonstrate this air aircraft's capability and, it, and it's very affordable cost parameters.